That's how Shogun's era came to an end. Anyway, uh, and then we ended with Utsuro saying, the flame still burns. So let's see how this is going to go. What's with those faces? You guys lost something? Oh, don't tell me the thing you are looking for is Big Bro again here. Or is it your actual Big Bro that's right, right from all the blood on him? I'm just screwing with it. Okay, so pretty much they're both in a bad state. Uh, be careful you don't drink too much. Don't bury no. Okay, I remember don't uh, don't bury no. That's when uh, when Madao and Gintoki went to the host spa where Otai works. Basically, on the menu, there's like don't bury, don't bury blood, don't bury this, don't bury that, don't bury his. I just remember that. That's just. I find it funny. Anyway, I'm just screwing with you. Ginja, Kamui, thanks goodness. I know you are still alive. You, did you serve? And what if I did? Would that change your opinion of your big brother at all? I would hope you wouldn't underrate me so much. That Utsuro guy took my prey, Umibosu, from me once. I got a debt to repay. I just wanted to make him feel what I felt. Uh... You are just trying to kill him before Utsuro couldn't get... But, well, that's what he want us to think. That's probably what he have in his mind as well, given that it's Kamui. I think getting hit by out-of-control Altana might be the more pleasant experience. If I were being serious, you would be dead. Yeah, well, if I weren't serious, you would be... Dead. Okay, they have their own competition going on. Well, if you learned your lesson here, I'm hoping you would act a little more in the future I don't feel like losing anymore and if we lose a military asset like you we won't be able to win against that thing okay at, at this point Kamui calling Utsu as a thing rather than a human being Kamui sheesh you are getting lectured by a wild boar to keep a cool head you must be really losing your touch boss but he got he got a point whatever that thing is in front of uh, you uh, you lose track of everything else around you, and if you do that, then 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 the wild boar can't get its kick to land. Are you saying you could dodge that wild boar's kick? Sorry, but I am the, I'm not the type that get reeled up from a cheap provocations like boars are. Besides, we can't afford to lose the precious military assets that is our boar. Don't worry. I can fill a military if it's your size on my own. <laughs> oh, that's some pretty big talk. Hey, knock it off. We are all sick of Vegeta and Piccolo back and forth. Yes. Let's make this simple. Your little sister is ugly. So is yours. What kind of response is that? <laughs> Correct. <him. laughs> okay, seems like Kakura actually finished him off. Did we actually have this scene in the anime? I don't remember this at all. I remember funny scenes more than anything else, but I don't remember this at all. Uh, anyway, uh, moving forward. Jeez, what a bunch of weirdos I got in depth with. Well, whatever it takes, as long as we survive this world order, we should be fine. What about the others? I don't know, but all of Edo looks like this. Just how many victims have been made at this point? The damage aren't limited to humans. Gengai-san, you're all right. Like hell I am. Did he just throw him on the ground? Anyway, when these guys came, they started treating me like I was a thing to be hauled around. Sorry about that. I would just heard that on this planet, if something useless, you can call it a person or a thing or a hunk, a junk. Okay. Then drill this into your skulls. On this planet, the medals that get sent to the one that finished their duties and burnt themselves out are what we call hunks a junk. Finish their duties. 
yeah, the nano machine virus that this old Jesus scattered all throughout the Edo all seems to have died off. The bees? The bees specialized in uh, disabling machines' weapons, so they are pretty unequipped to handle attacks. All that stuff that happened before wasn't from a machine, so it ended up blowing them all to bits. Then right now, Edo is completely defenseless. If the Liberation Army fleet were to attack now, we would have no means to stopping them. Damn it! All, all we have struggled so hard to protect all this time, that man overturned it all in an instant. But this is happening after the Liberation Army fallen, right? Protect? You mean that? Huge pile of junk? Looking at all this rubble, this country's turned into, I don't know, who would call it to protect it. Looks more like who won and who lost got settled a long time ago. And maybe the only people that haven't acknowledged that are the people right around here. No, there are people like that here too, up above your heads, way in space. Okay, we are getting a radio signal, let's see. There is no need to uh, pay any mind to anything going on up here. We got it all taken care of, Kintoki. Next, it's your turn. This is something that remind me of One Piece. Uh, you know, so it's a description of this man here. That man there. Basically, a uh, what you call a teamwork is what you do whatever you can and just pass it on to your friend to do the other part. That's basically what the teamwork is. That's basically what Tadasugi is doing here. He he done what he need to do and now he's just passing on to Ginto Kids. Your turn now. Uh, next. And there is one of those, the bell thingy. Anyway, uh, the yellow dragon maiden and the goat dog Inugami. They put the dragon veins to sleep, the one which have protected the dragon veins since ancient time. Okay, and you can see that the small dog, he's actually like putting the energy into that barrel knife thingy and they are being discharged. That Genriki, at times it wakens the dragon vein and activate the torrent. And at times that Genriki soothes and uh, unruly dragon and quite quits the torrent. In the shadow of history, the ones that have fought those dragons and brought about the peace and balance to this land, the clan that has conquered the dragon. That is, yeah, the cabaret curl shirin maiden Anechan, right? It's been wild. <laughs> Sorry, thanks for the call and everything, but I don't think I will have time to pop into the club. Okay, I don't think that's why she is calling. Uh, the world just a little on the verge of destruction right now, and I just can't pull myself away. Yeah, and on top of that, the princess is off somewhere looking for a dog. This old man is really beat. Ah, uh, that's okay. No problem. I just wanted to hear your voice a bit. Hmm. Okay, well, talk to you later. Are you kidding me, old man? Who the hell would make a camera sales call, uh, call at a time like this? Don't you listen to people when they talk? Didn't you hear what our backstory is? I told you we are fighting all out to protect Edo right now. Hey, I'm listening. I knew without you even saying anything. Basically, you just want to want me to keep quiet at the club that you are running a second job of protecting the world alongside me. How, how is this guy is like the top of Shin Shigami? Uh, get your mind off the camera club thing, old man. Okay, now, please listen. On our clan's name, we are doing... No, we are going to make sure we qu quit down all of the places where the dragon wings are going crazy. But that alone won't get them back under control. Somebody is operating the gate that controls the dragon hole deep under the terminal to act however they are they pleased while we are getting things under control up here on the surface papa you and i you and the others 
sorry, you and the others need to attack that underground basement and get them under control. Okay, so the, the, those are the crowds. If you can do that, then we can definitely get Edo back to normal. Adecha, please let us work with you. The reasons all this happened in the first place was because our clan couldn't protect the dragon hall from the Amant. We want to get, uh, get it back, the things we lost back then. But do you have enough military forces to lift left to do that? Yeah, we might not. But compared to treating you Dom Perigon at the victory party, it will be a lot easier on my back, uh, back book. That is true. All right, we are coming back to Kintoki and uh, Takasugi. I get you. I think I got a good picture of the situation over there. I don't know who these guys are, but they sure did a good job coming in from outer space to wipe our asses for you, for us. Still, we don't need that help. Sure, this country doesn't exactly look the way it used to. From the onlooker's perspective, it might just look like mountain of yunk. But while this country may be burning, not one person here has burned out yet. That ain't turn into hunks of yanks. Okay, so basically saying they are, even if their body is tired, they're mentally not tired yet. The things we are trying to protect haven't been hurt at all. So it might be too early to be handing out medals. How about your end? You may have stopped the Liberation Army, but I will bet that hasn't been enough to burn you guys out, right? No way. You guys been reduced to hunk and young, right? Yeah. You better be ready for when I come for you. <laughs> okay, sister. Something seems off with, uh, off with Komako. It's as suspected. It was too much of a burden to give to just one. I wonder how much longer she will last both Komako and us. If only that child were here. Sister, that child is walking a different path from us. We couldn't have him suddenly come back and carry the fate of the clan on their back. Do you not care what happened to Komako? Then more. Okay. Is that Sarahara? Yeah. Ko no, that's Komako. Just jumped off and going off somewhere. That hole. Okay. You are late. We found a way to stop those dragon wings. But you would better hurry. The dog disappeared. That rings a bell or two with you, right? Okay, they found... They found... Uh, it's sad that I can't remember his name. Sadahar. I want to rip my head up and bring my brain and shake it a little bit so it will start acting like normal. Anyway, Sadahar just... They found Sarahar basically, and he's like, one. Okay, the god chil uh, children for protecting the dragon hall have assembled. Okay, so they were looking for Sarah. Well, they didn't want Sarahar to like ask any They didn't want to ask any favor to Sarahar because they just left him before. Uh, but yeah, end up Sarahar showing up himself here. Going into the next chapter. All right, 651. There. What has appeared before Anne and Moni? You, you, you are saying you call us to fight alongside us? Like Inugan? Yeah. According to Tortosan, the reasonable Edo is able to just barely hang on right now. Because of the shady occult, <laughs> occultic group. But it's not gonna last long. While they are stopping the dragon wings from going wild, we got to stop the group underneath the terminal occupying the gate and controlling the dragon wings. Got it. I will scourge you. Everybody still in uh, okay shape and head off. You can do it. I got to. Okay. If even a puppy got fed up with humans and decide to take a stance on its own, then we humans have got to make a stand even if it's mean crawling on all our no, crowding on all fours. Hmm. So, have humans gone back to being beasts? Or have beasts become human? Well, with the wool, uh, with our wool civilization in shambles, 
there might not be much of a barrier anymore. So humans and beasts as fellow creatures living on the same planet and as fellow creatures that will die on the same planet have chosen to fight together. Even that the roaring dragon seems to be pointing its fangs toward me. It almost as if the earth itself is residing me, resisting me. All right. Um, all right. Fascinating. How about you? Show me that. Show me the earth's true power. Okay. Utsuro seems to be fired up. After the climb up, after the climb up that hill, when you need a hand, ask a beast with the power pads. It's a nice cow page, actually. Uh, and as always, Kagura and Sarahara, they're going very well. That dumb dog. Rem reminding the readers of the old plot point, they were almost all forgotten like that. What the hell <laughs> dogs he thinks he can do up against those dragon maids? He shouldn't be off acting on his own at a time like this. I wish he wouldn't be so reckless. Jeez. I heard that there is a saying on this planet, if there aren't enough humans hands around, then ask a cat for a hand. There's a Japanese items like this, ask a cat for a hand means dis desperate for help. So busy even one would welcome the hand of a cat. Okay, it might be a finally time for asking a dog for a help too. We are pretty low on options at this point. Don't worry. We sure as hell ain't desperate enough to ask a rabbit for help. Don't worry about that. Our hands don't come so cheap that we would lend them to you. But I got no intention of letting the bone that puppies be desperately chomping on to go to waste. Captain, we will take the lead to draw out the enemies then it's all yours. Rabbits only lend their hands to other rabbits. So make sure you use your hands to protect your other family. Got that, big bro? Okay, wait, Abuto. They are always being such a nuisance pushing me into things like this. Yeah, sure. Okay, can't we? We, we believe that. Um, I told you, if you are too slow, I will kick your ass again. At whose fault it is you think my body is so slow right now? Just try and kick me, see how slow you would end up. Anyway, Sarahar, I'm sure there is something you can do. If if I had not opened my big... Okay, so he's a kind of regretting. Uh, I'm sorry, Kagracha. If I would watch over Sarahar Kun more carefully, this wouldn't have happened. It's not your fault, Soyo-chan. Anyhow, Edo is too dangerous for you right now, Soyo-chan. Leave Sarahar to us. You just hurry to a safe place. See, it's right. There's nothing you can stop just by being here. Both that dog and that man decide what they wanted to do on their own. When you look for something you can do, no matter what it is, waiting for you being told to stop and do nothing feels the same as being told to sit quiet and watch as the world is destroyed. So, please don't make a face like that, princess. The reason they were able to move forward without hesitation is because behind them there are people they can count on. What you should do is there. Princess, please, get as far away as you can, as fast as you can. Nobumesan. Okay. It seems like C is joining the battle. It looks like the enemy also took notice of our movement a while ago now. You all be careful as well. Nobum Nobutasu? Rest easy, I will find a way to get the tail from, no, tail away from the princess. Nobume, what are you going to do with the with your body like that? I'm not going to apologize for not being able to stop them. We are in this together. I'm not letting anyone else die. Wait there, I will be there soon. The enemy's presence. Okay, and there's like people jumping in. And then we just actually off screen, whatever the hell gonna happen, no good. Okay, 
jump oh the swords are coming in uh, they're coming from underneath okay that's the zombie army coming back up yeah these guys are looks like the groundwork for this was laid quite some time ago okay punching them killing them doesn't work out of the way out of our way okay but they, all they can do is make a way and go through this uh okay you can see both of them charging it uh we do not have time to waste with you all right you can see after they cool down one of the dragon wayne uh, they are going into the next one they are tired all right let's see get out of our way and you can see oh damn is utsuro actually seeing this Okay, this is bad. Kagura, don't be get a hot head. Did you forget these guys are? Yeah, basically they are zombies. Okay, one grabbing the leg, one got the umbrella. And there are like four of them just three no four of them charging in with a knife. And like, so what if our enemies are immortal? If they won't die. Then we just gotta crush them till they can't move anymore and obviously her actual big brother come to rescue and he got a stabbing as well kamui my bad i may not be immortal but i won't break down cause something like this he's like hey fly take it and throw it away kamui you you got to rash no you are getting rash calm down a bit rabbit only lend their hands to other rabbit so if he let you die the rabbits won't come. Okay, where is this explosion coming in? You can see there's somebody at the back and then it just exploded. What's up with it? Yo, took you long enough. The cute little rabbits at the point of tears and... Oh! Damn! Umibos are showing... Okay, I, <laughs> I didn't expect this. Uh, explosion that's that's goes to show with his hand and uh nobume is actually behind him all i see are a couple of ill-natured brad papa rabbits invaded <laughs> that's a nice ending actually overall out of a great couple of chapters um i actually enjoyed you know i'm not a big fan of reading yes so you know uh but i actually enjoyed this journey uh, it was fun let me know what you guys think about this last two chapters. Again, like I said, one of them is basically Gintoki and Takasaki working together, even though they are so far apart. Um, and then at the end, we got the rabbits rejoining. Uh, also, Utsuro kind of noticed what Sadahara is doing, kind of worried for him. So looking forward to seeing how the next chapter is going to go. Again, it will be out on Friday. Please do let me know when I'm supposed to stop, like what chapter, so I can plan according to that, because I want to watch Gintama movie soon as they it come out I'm not sure when they're releasing the DVD as well so yeah need to wait for that anyway uh, that's pretty much it from me next will be 652 and 653 if you guys haven't subscribed already do subscribe if you enjoy the reaction don't forget to leave a thumbs up there is the channel update right there do go and check it out um, that will let you know what else we do on this channel and what what you're going to get to see for some time on this channel anyway Thank you so much for reading with me. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day or night. And see you guys with more videos.